Good morning, and today is the day we get to play the game, Is Our Basement Going to Flood or Not? <laughs> if I had some sort of game show music, I would insert it here. Um, today it's supposed to be all the way up to 45, which is going to be the warmest it's been in months. However, we have a 70% chance of rain, and we also got another light dusting of snow on top of what we already had on the ground. So today is the day. Um, some of the snow has been melting, but there's still a lot left on the ground. Um, and then we also just, I mean, literally just a super, super light dusting out there. But all the snow is left, and then it's going to snow, it's going to rain on top of it. So I basically just got to keep an eye on the sump pump today and look, keep an ear out for the sump pump overflow alarm and, uh, I guess basically SOS my husband if something starts going off. So um, should be hopefully an interesting day. I'm looking forward to it being 45 degrees even if it is going to be raining. So we are going to get up and have breakfast and get everyone ready and go out and do our activities. And I'm going to see what time the rain is supposed to start. It just start raining here around Santa Ana. So should be a fun day. And Bella gave me my little purple Rapunzel necklace this morning. <laughs> so we're all wearing our little necklaces at breakfast. And Natalie's in her super cute monkey jammies. These are so cute. They're 24 month size jammies and these are ones that Bella had. So these are some of our favorite jammies. So my husband was excited whenever we got these out of the drawer last night. And Bella's dressed up as Cinderella with her bibbidi bobbidi boo wand pencil. And these are Natalie's new favorite shoes. These are pink sandals that Bella wore two years ago. That's the brilliant thing about having, let's just say, plenty of clothing, is that the stuff holds up really nicely for the next child to wear it. So, Thank you. You're welcome. So Natalie's obsessed with these sandals. Are you ready for warm weather, too? I know. You want to touch it and make a... Oh, you want the necklace? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's see if... We, Maybe she doesn't. What'd you do with the Tinkerbell one, Isabella? Does she have the Tinkerbell one? Where'd the Tinkerbell one go that you were wearing? But I don't want it. I just changed. You changed into the Cinderella's, the Tinkerbell in the, in the, I sort of say dressing room. <coughs> Is the Tinkerbell in the playroom? Yeah. All right, I'll go get it for you. Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. You like Tinkerbell necklace? You get just a little bit older and you can have your own yeah. necklaces. Don't pull it though because it break. It's got to get a little bit older so I know she won't eat it. <laughs> Careful. Careful, honey. It hurt. It hurt. That's why I can't wait till everyone's age three. Then we can do all kinds of age three appropriate stuff with everyone. Hooray! You like yogurt? Is it your favorite? Here we go. Can you use your spoon, please? I am. <laughs> Give Natalie some Greek yogurt. She calls it baby yogurt. All right, we are getting ready to head out. I'm wearing my Origami Owl locket today. I like this thing so much that I think I'm actually going to host a party in the next month or so because these little things are so cute, so I want to get some more. All right, so we're going to head out. We're going to go to Target. We're going to go take Bella to school, but then we've got to get, we've seriously got to go to Target to get cat food, but then I'm going to get a special kind of cat food for my female cat she's older she's about 12 or plus years old because she was an adult rescue when i got her so we're not exactly sure of her age she's recently started losing a lot of weight and kind of acting weird like she's doing it right now like she just sits next to the water bowl she'll just sit there she's not drinking right now she's just sitting there she's just sitting sitting <laughs> and she started wanting to go after food on the table like the human food and she's never done that like she's the best cat like she knows her boundaries and you can tell her to get down and like she would get down instantly if she was doing something she wasn't supposed to be doing and recently she's been trying to go on the table and like go after food and like if you tell her to get down like she just ferociously is still going after the food is not like her that's not normal for her and so we switched the cats to a senior food a while ago because the other male cat needed it. But I'm thinking that maybe her body's not absorbing the nutrients from it. So I'm going to try to get her a different kind and see if it helps. Natalie, don't throw him overboard. She's sitting here taking the crackers out of her snack cup and tossing them overboard. Oh, children. Anyhow, we are at Target. <laughs> so. 
We are going to run in here and look at the main the reason we need to stop in is cat food. And there's actually a couple targets in my area too, so for the people that were wondering if people recognize me, um, I can't always switch it up to go to a different target. But we are going to run in and try to see what they have for options for senior cat food. I'm going to pick up another bag of the regular stuff that they're eating because I don't want to like change everything, but I want to see, I think what I remember one of my family members had to do was put their cat on wet food when they got kind of older. I think that may be what I have to do with my cat. I have a vet appointment for her and they're usually really easy to get into but I called and tried to get her in for tomorrow while the kids had the little half day of school so I didn't have to bring the kids with me and they were totally booked which is abnormal for them because they said that they've had a couple vets out on vacation so they're like backed up. So as soon as I could get Luna in for an appointment is next Tuesday or Thursday. It's whatever day. We have a lot of doctor's appointments next week. Um, we have a follow-up with the ENT to get Natalie cleared, hopefully, for swim class and other activities, um, and just a general follow-up, and then also to get instructions for our plane flights coming up. Um, so we've got all that stuff going on, and I've got doctor's appointments, and I think we have some other stuff, so it's going to be a busy week next week. But I got an appointment for Luna on whatever day we didn't already have an appointment. So um, but I don't think that she's, like, you know... Definitely ill or anything, tiger. hopefully not, but I think we needed to get her some different food, food options. Are you ready for mommy to stop talking so we can go to Target? I'm going to Target. Okay, <laughs> we're going to go to Target. <laughs> you silly goose. <laughs> Nellie's sitting here saying, you silly goose. I apologize, guys, because I hadn't thought about going past the P.O. box, and I hadn't thought about Valentine's Day, and I did receive some correspondence and cards, so thank you. I just didn't think about it to be honest so I will start replying back to people and hopefully by this weekend have replies sent back out to everyone and again I apologize because it's been a couple weeks since we've been over here so anyhow <laughs> you said it goes so I have some fun Valentine stickers to send to some people so that'll be fun um, we are going to finish up our errands and then we're going to go pick up the Laboo and then we'll be home for lunch and it hasn't started raining yet but the snow started melting and so roads are starting to have water on them so it should be an interesting day. I took her over here to climb at the play place and she has no interest in the play place. She just wants to climb in these little cars that <laughs> the onesies stick money in them and they move. She just wants to sit in all of these. She doesn't care about the slides and all that. The figures. You going to drive? Say beep beep. All right, so here are the Imes things, and I got a bunch of these little perfect delight things. We got one of them free when we bought this Imes food, which is a mature adult that they're used to eating. Then I just got a variety of them for Luna to try. I got the girls some blueberries and strawberries. They seem to have gotten Luna's interest. <laughs> and then I also got her these little treats. They're buddy biscuits. I just got these to try. Don't typically give the cats treats, but you know, I thought I would try them. They looked interesting. And then I got a whole bunch of things from the dollar section. Pens, uh, thoughts and doodles, some note things, um, some clips, and then also some post-its that were in place, some little journals. I'm going to be doing a random act of kindness, actually, a couple of them. So some of those will be gifts. Yes? You see the post-its? So some of this is for me. I'm gonna like some of these, like these, I'm gonna divide it up and give away like half of them. And these I'm gonna use as gifts. I'm gonna divide this up. This is actually five journals. So I thought that this would be a good rec item because it has, I could give it to a bunch of different people. No, we're gonna give these as gifts, okay? So we're gonna try out some of these treats and stuff for Luna and see if she likes them. Natalie's got an all natural on her hair. She pulled the hair thing out in the car. So we'll see, whoops, so far so good on the treats. I'll give her one, I'll give her two. See if she keeps them down okay. So far so good, she seems to like them. She ate them right away. And we got Yoda's attention. <laughs> here you go, buddy. I figured you'd be in here in a minute. Well, so far so good on the wet food. <laughs> I don't particularly know how you're supposed to feed this to him, but I... Thought I would see if they like it, and so far it seems like they do. So uh, we'll see if she keeps this down. That's the other thing. She has a sensitive tummy, so she doesn't always keep everything down. And she does pretty good with the Imes brand, so I thought I'd just stick with that. But there's a lot of brands that she can't actually eat. 
you know anything about feeding cats wet food, please let me know down below. I mean, I'm sure a vet will fill us in next week, but. All right, now that the cats have eaten, I'm gonna feed these guys. I'm my strawberries. All right, I'm gonna go cut up some strawberries. We've got blueberries and blackberries. <laughs> All right, the girls are enjoying their strawberries. Strawberry. Bella wanted some of my salad until she realized those were there. And Natalie's already eaten hers, so I'm gonna get to cutting here. All right, I'm gonna work on dinner. We're gonna have the honey bourbon crock pot chicken for dinner tonight. This is again from Mommy's Fabulous Finds, the website. And um, we're again not having bourbon with this. I looked at Target. We never have gotten to like a liquor store type of thing and I totally forgot to remind my husband yesterday to try to stop past someplace. And the Targets here have liquor, but they just sell like these giant bottles and it doesn't seem like it's worth it for a recipe that needs two ounces. I mean, I'm not going to buy this like gigantic bottle and, um, you know, just have it like sitting around. It just doesn't seem worth it. So anyhow, we're having this again, but we're doing the optional. We're leaving these two things off. No sesame seeds, no bourbon. So I'm going to pop this in the crock pot real quick. Okay, the kids are laying down for their rest time, and I'm going to run upstairs and start setting up real quick for um, filming a video for Bags for Bubbles. And then I will just be back downstairs trying to get some editing done. Do you notice a theme during nap time? Okay, I just got some filming done for Bags for Bubbles, so I'm going to go try to do some quick editing. Editing with an editing with an editing. <laughs> this is what editing looks like. <laughs> So the girls are up from nap and we did snack and we're probably going to do an art project here real quick and I don't have to worry too much about dinner because it's in the crock pot cooking. So we'll probably just do a little art project and then be hanging out. We've actually got storms moving in which is the weirdest thing to say when there's snow on the ground but it's been thundering outside and now it's raining so our stuff, our satellite TV and stuff isn't working so we'll see. Now it's raining out. Wow, and it's raining a lot. Oh, that's not rain. That's that's some sort of tiny hail, actually. All right, well, that's always interesting. Come look, Bella. Come look at the little ice pellets on the deck. Can you come see? It's because it's really cold up in the atmosphere, and so it's not quite rain. It's sleet. So needless to say, I think we're going to be inside the rest of the day because we're not going outside in this. It's thunder snow. It's thunder and lightning. Did you guys, did you see the lightning, Natalie? Yeah. Yeah? A snow. A snow. It's a thunder snow, I think is what I saw people saying it was. Oh. Whoa. Daddy was the boo. Oh. Don't see. Are you helping? Bye. Bye bye. I don't think you're gonna fit in there. So I'm getting out some construction paper. We're gonna be doing shaped suitcases for our travel-ish themed week. And Sophia. I'm just gonna try to find all of the like scraps that I have down in here to make different shapes out of them. And then the girls can fill up their suitcase with different shapes. Sound a good deal? Bye. Natalie's like, I don't care. I just want to shut myself in the door. Gentle. Be careful. Careful. Okay, so we're going to do our shaped suitcases. And Natalie wanted a yellow suitcase, and Isabella picked blue. So, Isabella, can you write your name on the front of your suitcase? And then what we're going to do is we're going to have our suitcase, and we're going to pack it full of shapes. So we're going to take different things, like these hearts, Bella. You can do these. Mommy's going to cut out different shapes, and you can glue them down. And then you guys will have all your shapes in your suitcase packed. Try not to put it where it folds. Do you see where it folds, Bella? Try not to put the shapes right in the fold. And then you guys will have your little shape suitcase. Okay? So you decorate your suitcase however you want with the crayons, and Mommy will get you some shapes, and you can put hearts in your suitcase, whatever you want to pack to go on your vacation. okay. You want yellow. <laughs> I know you like. Hold on. I don't. There's the yellow crayon. There you go. Natalie likes yellow. That is one of Natalie's favorite colors. Good job. All right. Let's do square next. You put the square on the dot of glue. I want her. Good job. You gonna put some hearts in yours, Isabella? Yep. And Here you go. Put this heart down. 
Bella's decorating her suitcase and she wrote her name on there. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I think I'm just going to put the preschool home footage in the vlogs like they have been and not do an extra vlog this week. I don't know. I haven't really quite decided. So, all right. Keep gluing those shapes down. I think it's turning more into suitcase decorating than anything else. All right. There you go. Natalie's shape suitcase. What do you think? You can decorate it however you want to. What you need help with, Isabella? Natalie likes it. It's like a little purse. What you need help? Oh, you want the excess glue wiped off here? I Good job. Me. Good gluing. I did that. I did that. I did it. Did you do it? Good job. Natalie loves lining up her crowns over there. <laughs> I did. This is what Natalie's shaped suitcase looks like. You did good. A circle. A circle. Very good. What else do you have in your shaped suitcase? You want to stick more hearts in there? A pink heart. I want to stick some oranges in so, there. Show me what's in your suitcase, Isabella. <laughs> Not initially what I had intended for the project, but you know, still cute. <laughs> I want to go play. You want to go play? All right, good job, girls. Natalie's working on stuff in her kitchen. <laughs> Are you making dinner for us? Yeah. Good job. Make some coffee? Mmm, delicious. What time is it? Is it ready to go? Oh, is it for me? <laughs> I go see a phone. I know that. I can be Papa. That's me. Are you gonna be Sophia? Alright, dinner was delicious and getting the uh, dishwasher loaded up and we'll probably have to run it again tonight. So that's all for our vlog day today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. We'll see you tomorrow for another day in the life.